I will not eat the group pics. I will not eat the group pics. <laughs> you know, I mean, what, 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 what would it hurt if I only ate just a little bit? Oh, oh gosh, <gasps> that almost got my finger, guys. <laughs> I should not be trusted with fire. Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be talking about such a fun and juicy pick a card topic, okay? We are going to be focusing on your future spouse, specifically what the gossip is about them, okay? So what do people who know them, who meet them, what do they say about them, okay? What is the tea, all right? So without further ado, if you want to know all about your future spouse and about the tea that is surrounding them, then let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks today, friends, okay? Hello, friends. So here are your group picks today okay so for group one we have this super yummy honey bun and guys it just it looks so good <laughs> i'm having such a hard time with these group picks today because i just want to eat them so that's gonna be group number one and then for group number two we have the amazing hershey's milk chocolate Okay, so for my Willy Wonka fans out there, this is going to be group number two. And then last but not least for group number three, we have the Swiss Miss, and it's for marshmallow lovers. Okay, so that's going to be group number three, guys. Okay, so now I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in. And now I want you to let it out. And now I want you to please close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what is the gossip on your future spouse. What do other people who know them, who just meet them randomly, what do they think about them? What do they say about them whenever they're gone, okay? And then whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes. And whichever treat your eyes lens on first then that my dear is going to be the reading for you today now if you feel called to more than one yummy delicious treat here then definitely check out those corresponding messages because you could have some extra messages and guys i mean we all love the extra messages, do we not? <laughs> so, as always, guys, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your steamy pick a card reading today, friends, okay? Hello, group one! So, if you chose this yummy and delicious honey bun, then hey, hello, my cute little honeys out there. This is going to be your reading today, okay? So, let's go ahead and get our lovely tarot cards, and let's find out what is the gossip on your future spouse, okay? So, Spirit, for group number one, what is the gossip on their future spouse, okay? Can we get some cards, please? What is the tea on them? What do people say about them, okay? Their future spouse. So, Spirit, can we get some cards, please? Ooh, okay, guys, that one already kind of flipped up. All right, let's see what else wants to come through. Group one's future spouse. What do people say about them? <gasps> Wow, guys, ooh, I love the cards that are coming through for you. Guys, these cards are literally just flying out. Okay, I really think a lot of people have a lot to say about your future spouse. Wow, guys, literally, we are starting this out with a freaking huge bang because we literally have the emperor coming through for the back of the deck energy. So guys, your future spouse, they are a king. They are a queen. They are like royalty, okay? And we love that, all right? So let's talk about these other cards that are coming through. We have the king of swords. 
We also have the Page of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So, guys, first of all, I do have to say for the astrological signs today, we are all over the place. There are so many signs coming through, so bear with me. We're going to talk about each and every one of them. So, first of all, with the Emperor card, this is a major arcana card, and this is the only major arcana card in this reading. So, your person could definitely be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, okay? I do think that that is going to be a big energy within your person's chart. That is going to be a really big driving force to their personality. But talking about the other signs that are coming through, we do have some air energy making an appearance. So think of the air signs, Leo, Libra, Aquarius. We also have some fire energy coming through. So think of the signs again, Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. And then with the earth signs, think of the signs, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. Okay, so your person could be one of those signs, some in rising or in Venus, but they don't have to be. This is a very general reading. Okay, take it as it resonates. But anyways, guys, just jumping in to this reading, what is the tea, the gossip on your person? First of all, I think that they are somebody who is seen to be a very, very hard worker, right? With the Ten of Wands coming through, this talks about somebody who is not afraid of responsibility. They are not afraid of working as hard as they can. And so I feel like, oh, sorry guys. I feel like your person, especially with the Ace of Pentacles coming through, I think that they are seen as somebody who has a really long-term vision for themselves. They are seen as somebody who has a vision of where they want to be within their job, within their life. And this is somebody who is seen as being so patient, so ambitious, and so completely single-minded in their abilities to succeed and to be successful. And I'm honestly getting the idea that your person, they are seen as being a bit obsessive, right? This is somebody who is seen as being just like the biggest workaholic ever. I feel Feel like they are always the last one to leave the office. They are the last one to leave the library if they are at school right now. And I think that your person is literally seen as somebody who is all work and no play. And it gets to the point to where I feel like people see your person as somebody who just doesn't have a social life at all because they are so focused on the work sector of their life, on accomplishing this goal of theirs, right? And going after that goal with their full the full force of their energy of their attention right and so there is this energy here where I do think that your person comes off as somebody who is a bit of a mystery and I think that whenever people are gossiping about your future spouse I think that they are talking about how nobody really knows who your person is because of the fact that they don't have the time to talk to anybody and to really just have have a good time because they want to be able to succeed in this certain career path, right? And so I think that people are always kind of talking about your person, trying to see if anybody else knows who your person is, trying to find out if anybody has any like extra stories, extra tea on who your person is and on where they come from and stuff like that. And I am getting the idea with the Ace of Pentacles coming through. I think that your person is honestly really, really attractive. I think that people see your person as this like treasure, as this amazing, beautiful and lovely thing. And I think the reason why people treasure your person so much is because I feel like they come off as somebody who is like hard to get. They come off as somebody who is very like unavailable. And guys, we all know that what we can't have is oftentimes a thing that we want the most. And so I think that because your person uh, places a distinction between themselves and other people, because they are so focused on their job all the time, people just see your person as somebody who 
is this unattainable sexy freaking object right and I think that people place your person like on this pedestal as the ultimate like dream person and I just feel like honestly your future spouse is like the star of so many like sexy office dreams I feel like people are always imagining how they are going to approach your person like in the office and take them against their desk right and I think they also have like fantasies of hooking up with them in the library right and <laughs> I just think that that's so funny to see <laughs> I love that but anyways guys I also think with the King of Swords coming through, since this does represent that lovely air energy, I think that your person is seen as somebody who is a very intelligent person. They are seen as somebody who is very analytical. Uh, they are seen as somebody who is also a great communicator as well because air energy is synonymous with communication and it's synonymous with somebody who has a very quick wit. And so I am getting the idea that while your person is very focused on their job, I think whenever they do start to talk with people, whenever they do break from the monotony of their everyday work life and they actually let themselves have a bit of fun or they let themselves just, just join in to the conversation, I think that people love to hear what your person has to say because of the fact that they are just so interesting and I feel like they have such an interesting perspective. You know, I really feel like your future spouse is somebody who is really interested in politics. They are interested in philosophy and religion and I feel like anytime your person they open their mouth anytime they start to talk I feel like the whole room just kind of quiets so that they can listen to what your future spouse has to say because everybody is just so intrigued by what is going to come out of their mouth right and so I think whenever people are talking about your future spouse I feel like they are saying how your future spouse is just so fun to talk to you how they have so many like cool things to add to a conversation and that's definitely something that people appreciate about your person it's something that people really like so that is definitely a topic of most conversations whenever people are talking about you or excuse me your future spouse and then at the end of the day with the page of wands coming through I think that people also see your person as somebody who has this endless spout of energy I think that people are always talking about how even whenever your person Person is tired even whenever they are feeling fatigued they are somebody who they are always able to renew themselves they are always able to have that spark back that fire to be able to go after their dreams to be able to boldly go where nobody is able to go and what I mean by that is that I just feel like your person the gossip on them is that they have like the biggest loftiest dreams the biggest loftiest goals for themselves but people see your person as somebody who is bold enough to go after it and as somebody who is patient enough, ambitious enough, determined enough to be able to turn those dreams, those huge fantasies into an actual reality. And I think that people love that about your person. People really respect that. And I think that that is really, really beautiful to see. And then at the end of the day, with the Emperor card coming through, I just think that your person is literally seen as royalty. I think that they just have such a huge presence. And I think that whenever people are talking about them, they talk about how they are such an amazing leader, right? I feel like so many people look up to your person. They look up to your person's drive, to their strength of will. And I think that people genuinely see your person as somebody who is going to go where nobody can go. They see your person as as somebody who not only has these dreams of theirs but they are going to accomplish them and at the end of the day people are always talking about how your person is going to be so successful they are going to really accomplish so many things and I think that that is something in itself that really makes your person so attractive and I think that people really appreciate that about them they really love that about them and I think that at the end of the day your person is just so inspiring to these people right I think that people look at how hard your person works they look at how hard they try and I think that people are encouraged by your person and they are encouraged by how hard they work and they themselves feel like 
they are more motivated to try to succeed, to try to work really hard because at the end of the day, your person, I think that they are literally a mentor to so many people. They just really inspire others to work as hard as they possibly can, right? Because they see your person, you know, working every day and little by little accomplishing their goal and getting closer to their success. And I think that that is something that encourages other people to try to uh, get out of their comfort zone and work as hard as them as well, right? So that is definitely something that people talk about, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at your oracle cards, okay? So Spirit, for group one, can we get some cards, please? What do people say about them? Okay, what is the gossip on my lovely group one, their future spouse? Okay, what is the gossip on their future spouse spirit? What is the gossip on them? Interesting. Okay, can we get some extra cards, please? Yeah, oh my gosh. That makes so much sense. Let's get one more card, Spirit. Group one. Yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's set these cards out. Literally, guys, everything that I've been saying to you, it's being seen within these cards, right? And it's just so awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. So for the cards that are coming through, we have intuition and we have binding. We have invasive coming through as well. And then we have athlete and prince. And then last but not least, we have stepping away and the call of the longing. So first of all, guys, with the call of the longing coming through. I think that this is talking about how your person, like they are seen as somebody who longs for this future. They long to be successful and to turn all of their dreams into a reality, right? And what I think is so beautiful about them is that they are seen as this athlete. They are seen as somebody who is going to be able to accomplish absolutely anything that is set in front of them because of the fact that they are so strong because of the fact that they have this never give up type of attitude and your person is seen as somebody who even if the whole world is against them they can still go out and finish on top because of the fact that they don't let anything get in the way of them and their goal and this is just somebody who people see as being very confident they see your person as somebody who just really believes in themselves and I think the gossip on your person the tea on them is that people are talking about how even if they had everybody against them, they will still come out on top because they are for themselves, right? And that makes all of the difference. They are somebody who, even if people are telling telling them that you'll never make it, they will tell themselves that they are worthy, that they are talented, that they are strong. And they will tell those people, the naysayers, you know, watch me, watch me accomplish these goals. I will do it. I will succeed, right? And I think that that determination, that confidence is something that people find to be so beautiful. It's something that people love to talk about because they find it to be just so shocking and so awe-inspiring, right? And with this prince coming through, this literally talks about the potential for power, right? And so I think that people see your person as somebody who is the prince right now or the princess of their story, but they think that in time they will become the emperor. They will level up and that this is ultimately going to be their destination. And so I think that people are talking about how your person, you know, they may be at the bottom right now, but that is not going to be where they are going to be at in the future. People are talking about how even if your person has to start out at the very, 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 very bottom at rock bottom that they will rise up and they will succeed right and then I'm also getting the idea with the binding coming through and again the call of the longing I think that this is coming through to represent how so many people wish that they could date your person that they could talk to your person I think that your future spouse has so many people that want to get close to them because of the fact that they are just seen as this very like mysterious person they have this mystique about them they have this lone wolf thing coming through and I think that people are always just talking about your person and talking about how they wish that they could be with them how they wish that they could get to know them better 
and I think that everybody has nothing but good things to say about your person because people are just genuinely very intrigued by them. They find your person to be this mystery that they want to be able to unfold and unravel and I think that whenever your person, whenever they are not being a lone wolf, whenever they do decide to actually join conversation and talk to others and associate with other people, I think that they are seen as this very charming and very uh like cool person to talk to right people genuinely enjoy getting to know your person and that is why there are so many people that want to get to know your person even better right because from what people can see of them from what they can tell is that they are a very really cool person they're a really cool individual and people want to be able to get to know them even better right and then at the end of the day with uh, stepping away coming through I think that this is again talking about how your person they are always stepping away from others I think that this is somebody who is just a bit of an introvert I think that they are seen as somebody who prefers to be on their own and hang out with themselves I feel like if they are not at work then they are at their house uh, maybe reading a book watching a movie or or maybe even bringing that work home with them. But um, I think that at the end of the day, people just wish that they could get to know your person better. They wish that they could be included in your person's life. And I think that that's really lovely to see. And then at the end of the day, Ugh, I can't talk guys at the end of the day with intuition coming through I think that people are also gossiping about how your person just has a really strong intuition and they are somebody who follows their heart and I think that this goal that they are going after this uh career that they are trying to turn into a reality it is something that is really big on their heart. It's something that is really calling them and it's something that they genuinely are passionate about and I think that people find your person's ability to answer that calling that has been placed on their heart, your person's ability to really be able to go through the ups and downs, the rockier moments that could be placed on their path that is something that they find to be really, really beautiful. And I think at the end of the day, your person is just seen as somebody who, no matter what they face, no matter what they go through, they will be able to go through the rockiest moments, the darkest of times because of the fact that they trust that they will be able to overcome these things. They trust in their ability to succeed. And they have this beautiful intuition that they are going to turn all of their dreams into a reality. And because they already know that, then it's like they have no problem to be able to go through harder times, right? Like that's not a big deal to them. It may be hard while they are going through that harder time in the moment, but they are able to have that long-term vision and they're able to trust that they will get past it, that that is only a bump in their path and that eventually they will get to their throne and they will rule, right? So yes, guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day friends okay hello group two so if you chose the super yummy Hershey's bar then hey hello friends this is gonna be your reading today okay so let's go ahead and get your tarot cards and let's find out what is the gossip the tea on your future spouse okay so spirit for group two what is the tea on their future spouse okay what do people say about them spirit group two's future spouse wow guys look at all these cards coming through already Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get one more card. What is the T on their future spouse, guys? I said one more card and we got two more cards coming through. That is amazing. Okay, Spirit has a lot to say to you guys. All right, so for the back of the deck energy, we have the King of Swords coming through. We also have the Three of Swords. We have the Temperance card making an appearance. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. 
we have the Nine of Cups. And then last but not least, we have the Seven of, or excuse me guys, this is the Six of Pentacles coming through. Okay guys, so first of all, talking about the astrological signs that are making an appearance. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to arrange these cards because your girl's having a difficult time. But talking about the astrological signs that are coming through with the temperance card, this does represent our lovely Sagittarius folks. And we do also have quite a bit of earth energy coming through as well. So definitely think of the earth signs Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And then last but not least, we do have a little bit of fire energy coming through with the king of wands so think of the fire signs leo sagittarius and aries okay so guys just talking about this message i really am getting the idea that the gossip on your future spouse with the three of swords coming through i think that people say how it seems like your person has had to go through a really hard time because the three of swords this is the heartbreak card and this talks about going through some struggles right it talks about having a bit of a rougher patch that you had to go through so maybe your person could have gone through a harder breakup maybe they just seem like somebody who they came from a bad or hard home life right but i am getting the idea that people see your person as somebody who has struggled and they have had to go through some darker moments. But what is so beautiful about it is that I think that people see your person as somebody who, even though they have had to go through these darker moments, these darker nights of the soul, they didn't let it steal their joy. And I think with the temperance card coming through, people see your person as somebody who was able to find their temperance. They were able to find their calm within the storm. And I think that people talk about how your future spouse is somebody who is just so balanced and they are so healthy. And that is just something that people find to be really, really beautiful because people really think that your person has had to go through some really hard and harrowing moments and they see that as being really incredible that they were able to get past these darker times because I think that if it were to have to go, like if somebody else were to have to experience that, they feel like that would have knocked them down. It would have caused them to uh, just give up on life. But your person didn't give up. In fact, I think that your person is seen as somebody who uh, not only did they not give up, not only did they not give in, but they went through these moments. They had to go through them, but they grew through them as well, right? And it's like their harder times turned them into this king of wands type of person it turned them into somebody who was so much stronger because of the things that they had to experience it turned them into somebody who is just so confident within themselves and their ability to succeed and to accomplish anything that they want to accomplish and your person is just seen as somebody who is literally like the ultimate lover to so many people, the ultimate fantasy, because we have the Nine of Cups, and that literally talks about, like, a fantasy. It talks about a wish coming true. This is the wish card. And so I think that people look at your person, and they are constantly gossiping about how your person is just their fantasy person. They are their dream person. They are just so incredible, so handsome, so beautiful, so attractive, right? I think that your person is seen as somebody who is the ultimate package. And I am kind of getting the idea that because of the reason they are seen as being this confident, amazing, beautiful thing, I think that it causes people to be afraid to go after them or to try to flirt with them because, you know, with the Three of Swords, this talks about the heartbreak card, and I think that people look at your person as somebody who could break their heart, right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because, like I was saying, your person is just like a dream person to so many people. It's like people look at your person and they see them as somebody who is like Brad Pitt. They see them as somebody who is like Johnny Depp. And they just think that if 
they were to get to date them, if they were to have a chance with them, that they would just have so many other people that would be interested in them, so many other secret admirers, and they would be afraid and fear that in the future, your future spouse would end up breaking up with them and hurting their heart because of the fact that they have just so many options, right? And they are afraid of not being worthy enough or not being beautiful enough or confident enough to be able to keep your future spouse, right? To be able to not just catch them in their little like net, right? But to also be able to keep them, right? So that is definitely coming through, okay? Your person is just very intense intimidating. But what's really interesting is at the same time, on one hand, while I think that they are intimidating when it comes to like the love side of things, I think that whenever it comes to just their overall kindness and to their compassion, I think that that is something that is just so beautiful. It's so sweet. And what I mean by that, because I feel like I wasn't explaining that good, I think that people are always talking about how your person is just so giving. Because these six of pentacles, this talks about somebody who they give away as much as their time, as much of, of their energy, as much of their wealth, as much as possible right? This is somebody who just cares about others and they want to make sure that other people are so happy. And this is somebody who gives so much of themselves without expecting anything else to be given to them in return. And so I do think that your person is somebody who is a bit of a humanitarian. I think that this is somebody who is always willing to help a stranger on the street. They're always willing to give a bit of money to the homeless. They're always willing to give a helping hand to anybody who is in need. And I think that this is somebody who is just always trying to help others, especially whenever they are at their worst. And I think that people view your person as being this way because of the fact that maybe they were going through a really hard time within their life, especially in the past. And they see your person as somebody who they had to do it alone. They had to go through these darker moments by themselves. And I think that your person is seen as somebody who they don't want anybody else to have to go through darker times alone because they know how that feels. They know how that is scary and lonely and hard. And so people are always talking about how because of your person's past, it has turned them into such a kind and compassionate person because they are able to put themselves in the shoes of other people who are going through hard times as well. So I think that whenever people are talking about your person, they're always saying how your person is literally the sweetest person they have ever met. They're always talking about how your person is just so giving, so selfless, how they will do absolutely anybody for, or excuse me, anything for anyone. And I think that that is really beautiful. But on the other side of the coin, I think that people are also saying that, oh my God, gosh, like your person is so hot. They're like Brad Pitt level kind of hot. They are like Angelina Jolie. They are like Scarlett Johansson, right? Your person is seen as somebody who is too hot to be real. And because of that, people are afraid to talk to them in a romantic sense. They are afraid to put the moves on them and to try to date them, right? Because they feel like they could just never compare to your person. And I do think that at the end of the day, with this Nine of Pentacles card coming through, this talks about somebody who is very wealthy. This talks about about somebody who is like a self-made type of person, right? This is somebody who has worked really hard and they have gained the rewards from it. And so I think that your person, whenever people are talking about them, whenever they're gossiping about them, they're always saying how your person is just so freaking successful and they see your person as somebody who is going to be very wealthy, right? So even if they are not wealthy at the moment, whenever people are talking about them, right? I think that they see your person as somebody who, even if they are working as like a pizza delivery boy right now, they see them as somebody who is going to be a freaking CEO, a freaking high-flying businessman one day. They see your person as somebody who is going to succeed no matter what is placed before them, right? Because this person, because of their harder time, because of their past, they are so much stronger than anybody else. They are cut from a different cloth than others. And and this is somebody who is going to be able to accomplish their dreams, no matter how big, no matter how bold, no matter how hard it may seem to accomplish them, because they have this strength of will that cannot be, t like, that. that is just incredible, right? That is amazing. So... 
I think that that is so beautiful to see. And then at the end of the day, with the King of Swords coming through, I also think that your person is a really great communicator. I think that they are very charming, very witty, very fast on their feet. And so I think that people really do enjoy talking to your person as well. They enjoy being able to socialize with them. And I feel like whenever they are not in the room, whenever people are talking about them, gossiping about them, they are always saying how they just love to converse with your person. They love to hear what they have to say, what they they have to add to a conversation because of the fact that they just have a very interesting viewpoint right so that's really cool to see and I also think that your person could be quite funny as well so I think that that's really lovely to see I love that for you guys so let's go ahead and get some extra cards spirit for group two how what is the gossip excuse me on group two's future spouse okay yeah guys that makes so much sense let's go ahead and just get some final messages what is the gossip yes oh my gosh guys that makes so much sense oh i'm so excited guys you have so many cards coming through like it's insane okay so let's just set these out for us shall we let's get them all ready so anyways, guys, for the cards that are coming through, we have intuition, we have faith, we have winter's throne, Ooh, sorry guys, and raven's wand. And then we have dilettante or dilettante, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, seeker, queen, and femme fatale. Okay guys, so first of all, literally legit what was I saying? Your person is seen as somebody who is so freaking attractive. They are too hot to trot and people are genuine, genuinely so afraid to talk to them and to try to put the moves on them because they feel like they are going to end up being like a femme fatale and they are going to end up hurting them because of the fact that they are just so attractive. They are just at this whole other level of hotness and people are always gossiping how about how they are afraid that if they were to date your person that they would end up getting hurt by them, right? And then with the queen card, coming through in the winter's throne i think that that's just so awesome to see and i think that raven's wand and faith goes really well with these cards as well so let me explain it okay so i feel like with the raven's wand this actually talks about having a really hard responsibility or some type of burden being placed on your chest at a very young age this talks about having a past of a past that was really hard that was harder than most right so I think that your person is again seen as somebody who had to go through a harder time they had to go through a season of their life that was very dark right and I think that instead of letting that season of darkness instead of letting that past really bring them down and cause them to doubt themselves and to feel very insecure I think that they went through that darker season and not only did they like actually get past it but they became a freaking queen right they became royalty okay and what I mean by that is that I feel like your person they took on all that extra responsibility like a queen does they looked at the burden that was being placed on their chest and they had the ability to not let it bring them down but to raise them up to cause them to be molded into into this person, into this king, into this queen who is able to take on all this responsibility and carry it like it is a freaking, I don't know, something that, like, like a pair of wings on their chest, right? They were able to carry it like it was nothing, right? And I just think that your person, because they went through this past, it really molded them into somebody who is so strong. It molded them into somebody who is so confident, who has the confidence of the royalty, right? And your person is just seen as somebody who, they are just going to be able to become a boss in anything they are going to rise up into the ranks and no matter what job they decide to go after this is somebody who is going to accomplish so much and it's because of the fact that they did have to go through this harder moment they did have to go through this harder season and so people are always talking about how your person even if they are a freaking pizza delivery boy right now in the future they are going to literally become like the ceo of that pizza company right like that 
that is the type of potential that people see in your person. That is what people are always saying about your future spouse, how no matter what goes against them, they will rise up and they will take their freaking crown and they will lead like the best of them, right? And I think that that is just something that really sets your person apart from so many people. And that is something that causes them to be so attractive. It's something that really adds on to their hotness level, right? So I think that that is really cute to see. And at the end of the day, I think that people just really respect your person. And I didn't really mention it, but with the faith card, I just think that that's talking about how your person, they are seen as somebody who has so much faith in themselves and they have so much faith that their story is going to give them a happily ever after, right? And I think that people genuinely see your person as somebody who is very optimistic and as somebody who is very positive. And I think that whenever people are talking about them, they're talking about how that is such a beautiful trait to have and how even though they have so many things in their past that should cause them to be negative, that should cause them to be a bit more pessimistic, they are instead uh, just looking at the world world with the eyes of a child they're always able to see the magic in the world and that is something that is so beautiful right and going off of that you know we have dilettante coming through and this says delights in the arts without having to be a professional and i think that this is again talking about how your person like they are able to look at the world and they are able to see everything that is beautiful, right? Because whenever I think of an artist, I think of somebody who has like a beautiful perspective. They are able to look at things and be inspired by the most benign things, right? And they are able to see these things and be inspired to come up with these amazing stories. If they are a writer, they are inspired to, uh, make this beautiful painting, right? And I think that your person, even if they are not a amazing writer, they're not an amazing artist, I think that they have that beautiful, like, artistic point of view. Like, they are able to look at the world and see everything that is beautiful, right? And I think that they all have this ability to make other people feel very charmed, to make other people feel very beautiful as well. Because like I was saying, I think your person is a really great communicator. And I think that they use their communication skills to lift people up. I think that they genuinely want to help others. Like I was saying, they are so compassionate. They are so loving. They are so selfless. And I think that they are just seen as somebody who they can put themselves in other people's shoes. They know what people are going through, right? And they don't want people to go through that alone. And they want to be able to help them in any way that they can. And in some of these ways, it will involve them lifting them up through their words and really uh, just making them feel beautiful and making other people feel like they can do anything that they set their mind on, that they set their will on, right? And I think that that is something that is so beautiful. So at the end of the day, they really use their words to help people seek out the life of their dreams, that help people seek out the life that would make them so happy, right? And I also am getting the idea with the seeker card coming through. It says right here, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. I think that people are gossiping and saying how your person, they are this wise and honest person. They are somebody who just has this energy, this love within themselves. They have this mission where they want to be able to learn as much as they can from the world. They want to be able to seek out as much life as possible. They want to just live the life of their dreams. And I think that they see your person as somebody who has this amazing intuition and they are just allowing their heart and their soul to guide them to where they need to be and to where they are meant to go next, right? So there is this beautiful, like, flowy energy to your person. I feel like your person is seen as somebody who just is willing to go anywhere that their heart is calling them to go, right? And they're not going to go against their heart. They're not going to go against where their soul is calling them to be. And I think that that is something that is really sexy, right? So uh, yes, guys, that is the gossip on on your future spouse. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime okay. So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day friends okay. Mwah.
Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you chose this incredible Swiss Miss, and hey, hello, friends. This is going to be your reading today, okay? So let's go ahead and get your tarot cards, and let's find out exactly what the gossip is on your future spouse, okay? So spirit, what do people say about group three's future spouse? What is the gossip on them? Okay. <gasps> Wow, guys, I love the cards that are coming through for you. Can we get another card, please? Yeah, oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Okay, so for the back of the deck energy, we have the Ace of Wands coming through. And then we also have the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles coming through. We have the Justice card. And then we also have the Four of Wands. So just talking about the astrological signs that are making an appearance, we do have some lovely Libra vibes coming through, and we do have quite a bit of fire energy coming through as well. So definitely think of the signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So your future spouse could be one of those signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, or this could simply be representing the overall energy, the vibe that they give off to others, right? But guys, first of all, I'm definitely getting the idea that your person, the T on them is that they seem like somebody who has gone through a bit of a harder time because the five of pentacles, this talks about feeling like you are left out in the snow. This talks about feeling like you are not simply living, you are having to survive, right? Does that make sense? And so there is this energy where maybe your person wasn't given the best life, maybe the karmic skill scales weren't like weighed in their favor in their past right and I feel like for some of you guys people just see your person as somebody who maybe they had to go through a hard like financial period within their life maybe they didn't come from a lot of money or maybe they just felt like they were left out in the cold or they were seen as being somebody who was left out in the cold in regards to their friendships in regards to their relationships maybe people see your person as somebody who was betrayed by a lover or betrayed by their friends or maybe their family members weren't very nice to them, right? But for some reason, your person, people see them as somebody who had a harder lot in life and they had to really go through a lot of burdens, right? A lot of burdens from the past. But what I find to be so beautiful and what other people find to be so beautiful about your person is that with the Ace of Wands coming through, I think that people always talk about how your person, even though they have so many reasons to be pessimistic, even though they have so many reasons to live their life with a chip on their shoulder, this is somebody who has a beautiful like spark within them. This is somebody who is seen to be so passionate and they are seen to be as somebody who just has so much love for life, right? And I think that people are always talking about how your person is also a very hard worker. They see your person as somebody who is very loyal, very devoted, and I think that that is something that people really love about your person. And I really think that the gossip, the tea on them, is that they just want to be able to live their best life with the four of wands coming through. They want to be able to have their happily ever after, and I think Think that they are not allowing their harder past to get in the way of this dream or to cause them to be negative. In fact, they are seen as somebody who they believe that so long as they work hard, so long as they have this strong will and this determination, that they will be able to succeed and have the best life ever, right? So that is really, really beautiful to see. And I do want to say with the Two of Cups coming through, I think that people really like your person. This literally talks about the soulmate card. It talks about relationships and feeling like you are with your perfect partner. And I feel like your person is seen as the 
perfect partner for absolutely everybody. I really think that your person is genuinely like a happy-go-lucky type of person. They are seen as somebody who is just always happy, always excited about life, always just living life to its fullest. And that is something that people really like. And that is something that causes people to be so attracted to them, right? So the gossip on your person is that even though they've been through a harder time, they are able to look towards the future and be so excited about what lies ahead. And they're also somebody who their own excitement, their own love for life, that zest that they have is so freaking hot. It's so freaking attractive. And so many people just want to hang out with your person. They love to just be around them and they want to be able to be in their life in any way that they possibly can, right? And I do think that there are so many people that are trying to be able to get to date your person, right? There are so many people that want to have that happily ever after with them, right? And I think that that is so amazing to see. And I do think, again, that your person, like, they are honestly, like, the life of the party. I think that they know how to have a good time. They know how to spice things up, how to get people, like, excited and just having a good time, right? And I think that honestly, your person, you know, let's say they are at a party, right? They're at an event, okay? And they see somebody that is not having a good time. They see somebody that is not having the best go of it. I think that your person just has this beautiful warmth about them and this beautiful love. And I think that they are able to go up to these people and they are able to make the unhappiest person or the person who is literally like so bored just instantly feel so much better and instantly feel so much more excited, right? Your person is literally the life of the party and they just help other people have a good time. They help other people let loose and have fun, right? And so I think that people just love to be in your person's presence because they are just like a freaking candle flame. They just help other people like light their darkness, right? And I think that this is coming from the fact that because they were hurt in the past, because they experienced darker times, they know what it's like to be upset. They know what it's like to feel lonely and to just not be happy. And I think that they genuinely want to make other people feel happy. They don't want others to experience the things that they had to experience and they just want to please other people and make other people happy, right? And I think that the gossip on your future spouse is that they are just the sweetest person ever. They are the life of the party. They are so warm. They are so loving. They are just so freaking kind and people love that so freaking much. So that is so lovely to see. So let's go ahead and get some extra extra cards spirit for group three what is the gossip on their future spouse okay yeah this is making a lot of sense okay let's go ahead and get our other cards spirit for group three what is the tea on their future spouse what do people say about them okay yeah that's beautiful. Okay, and then let's get some final cards for group three's future spouse. What did people say about them? Okay, guys. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, guys, this is literally making so much sense. So first of all, we have caution, we have intrusion, and we have courage, right? We also have independence, mistakes teach us, and then we have monk or nun and advocate coming through. So guys, first of all, I really think that your person, they are seen as somebody who is not cautious at all. I think that the reason why the, the caution card is coming through is that your person is somebody who is very action oriented. I think that your person is somebody who they just follow, follow their heart and they allow it to lead them wherever they want to go and wherever they are meant to go. Right. And I think that if mistakes do happen, if, uh, bad stuff happens because they're following their heart. They just see it as a lesson that they needed to learn and they see it as something to help them grow and to become stronger. And I think that they are just able to look at any darker period, any lesson, and they're able to learn from those mistakes and learn from those lessons, right? Does that make sense? I just feel like your person is somebody who they are very courageous. They're very bold. This is somebody who will do 
what other people only talk about doing. And if along the way something bad ends up happening, then they will learn from that lesson and they won't do it again. Okay, so um, let's say for example, uh, your person really likes to go bungee jumping. Okay, so let's say they go out, they go bungee jumping and they end up injuring their knee or they end up injuring their leg or something. I think that they will learn the lesson that they needed to learn by realizing that maybe they just shouldn't bungee jump at that certain height or something. I honestly don't really know how how bungee jumping goes. I don't really know the rules or anything because I've never bungee jumped myself, but I think that they will just learn what from what they did wrong. And I think that they will still continue to bungee jump, but I think that they will do it in a more smarter way. Does that make sense in a wiser way? Because they have learned from their mistakes. They have learned that that is not like maybe the best place to bungee jump at. Maybe that company is a little iffy, right? So they'll go to a different company, right? So I just think that your person, they have this type of philosophy that uh, they want to do absolutely anything that they want to do. They want to live a bold, spontaneous, beautiful life, but they are also willing to learn from the mistakes that they make and they are willing to learn from these errors and to grow from them. So I do think that that's very lovely to see. At the end of the day, I really do think that your person is quite a bit of a thrill seeker and I think that the gossip on them is that your person is just so spontaneous, so bold and I think that people are just talking about how they find that like thrill seeker vibe, that bold energy that they have to be so freaking hot and I think that people just want to join in on your person's party. They want to be able to be around them because of the fact that I think that your person's boldness, their courage is very contagious and they help other people get outside of their comfort zone and just live life and do things that other people will only ever talk about doing, right? So whenever people are talking about them, I think that they are always saying how they are absolutely crazy, but they are the best kind of crazy, right? And I think that people are always saying how they want to do those crazy things with them, right? They just genuinely help people feel like they are actually living, right? Like they are not just going through this life, you know, waking up each day, doing their thing, whatever. Like, no, they make people feel like they are living life to its fullest. They are doing things that are crazy, that are extreme, but that are amazing, right? And people feel like they are in the presence of greatness whenever they are around your person. They are in the presence of somebody who is living the greatest, most brilliant life and that type of passion that they have is something that people love so much and that's something that people always talk about. Now I'm also getting the idea with intrusion. I think that this is talking about how your person, they don't let negative emotions or pessimistic thoughts intrude upon themselves. They are somebody who they will Anytime they find themselves having a negative mentality, they will get past that negative mentality by uh, giving themselves some positive affirmations. And I think that they're also somebody who they try to help other people get past any type of intrusive thoughts as well. So I think that people, whenever they are gossiping about them, they're saying how they are just such a breath of fresh air. They are just somebody who they help them, they help other people um, see the brighter side of things and really have faith in themselves and in the person that they are and they help other people just feel like they can do anything and I think that that is something that is really beautiful with the advocate card coming through I think that your person is also seen as somebody who is very compassionate and I think that they are also seen as somebody who's very defensive as well I think that this is somebody who will fight for absolutely anybody they will not allow anybody to be treated wrong they will not allow any anybody to be bullied and I think that whenever people are talking about your your person. They're always saying how they are just so compassionate. They are so loyal to people and to uh, just making sure that other people are happy at all times and that they will step up and defend other people if somebody is trying to infringe upon their happiness, right? And so that is something that people really respect. That is something that people really like always talk about whenever they're talking about your person, right? And at the end of the day, with the independence card coming through, I think that people do honestly see your person as somebody who is very independent. I think that they are seen as somebody who is just very confident with themselves and they love themselves so much that they don't feel the need to be in a relationship or to have like a thousand different friends, right? And so I think that people see your person as somebody who is genuinely just in love with themselves. And I think that that sense of self-confidence, that sense of independence that they have, 
is something that is so attractive. It's something that people always talk about and they find it to be so freaking beautiful and it just makes your person even hotter, right? Because everybody loves an independent person, right? That is just like candy to so many people. So I do think that at the end of the day, your person, like so many people want to be with them. Whenever people are talking about your future spouse, they are saying how they wish that they could have this happily ever after with them because they know that if they were able to get your person uh, to, you know, take a step back from that independent lifestyle and decide to, you know, hang out with them for a bit that every day would be an adventure. Every day would be so fun and every day would be just so amazing with your person. Okay. So yes, guys, that is the end of your reading today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day, friends, okay? Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>